Day two of Offshore Europe just wrapped up. And again, it was a full day of content, multiple parallel sessions. I didn't get to see them all. But from what I did participate in, three takeaways. Human nature, circular economy, and electrification. First one, human nature. It was in one of the early sessions. It was uh, Ruby Roberts from Robert Gordon University was talking about how projects and technology implementations succeed or fail. And it was all around how we humans react to things. And especially they came up with the psychological technology adoption framework, right? It was fascinating, just some of the research that they've done on how certain things are. It's got nothing to do with the technology, right? It's how us humans. And on the same vein, um, I'm at the event supporting ABB Energy Industries. And I had the opportunity to chat with Will Leonard today around asset management performance. And again, his comment here around building a reliability culture it's like you know in the oil and gas industry in the energy industry it built a safety culture that wasn't a technology or a piece of software it's a culture right it's the way you do things and it takes years and again he was talking about when you want to get into um asset management and performance management of assets and 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 you have to create a reliability culture and again it's not a piece of software it's not a one training course it's developing a culture so again as you know, as I always say, the technology is the easy bit. It's us humans make it complicated. So human nature. Second one, um, circular economy. Now, it was a particular session in the decommissioning uh, session today. It was from uh, the John Laurie group. And they were giving an example of how they're taking tubular steel from facilities, offshore facilities today, and repurposing them and reusing them in other industries. Now, I know it's not the solution to circular economy for everything in the North Sea, but it's, a, it's an example of what can be done, right? So some of the circular economy stuff is starting. Um, we need a lot more, but it's, you know, it's an example. The third topic is around electrification and electrification of offshore facilities. Now, the entire future of facilities um, keynote today uh electrification of offshore was was a key topic here it was guillaume from total energies uh, setting the scene uh, also uh, total energies get a shout out they had some very cool mixed reality uh, presentation uh, technology there so that was pretty cool and it was um marit mark from technip fmc talking about deep purple and again this was about electrifying cr creating a, 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 a a system whereby you're using wind power and hydrogen to provide the power needed for offshore facilities. Now, it was then um, Asmund Maland from ABB Energy went into some gory detail, technical gory detail of the different technologies. And depending on what you're trying to electrify, the type of facility offshore, the different type of technologies that come into it. And a lot of this stuff is on the seabed, right? think of putting the grid under on the seabed and multiple different examples and obviously you have to think about ac and dc but something that i had no idea about you also have to think about 50 hertz and 60 hertz because you may have a mixture of equipment in some of these facilities so you have to provide for them all anyway i found that fascinating in terms of just the technology of uh, sub c and a long story short on to day three, Thursday, tomorrow. Again, there is a full program of events. Um, I am hosting uh, Martin from ABB Energies on the offshore wind. And I know subsea is gonna be a, a feature in there as well, but uh, another busy day. Anyway, there were my three takeaways. So on to day three.